Hey, welcome back to Colin Southland Bowl. It's the finale of Lemonade Days. You know, this is one of the great places in Lexington. Bowling is, is at one time was the number one uh, participation sport out there. It's still a great, great place to come on out and enjoy some time. But it's also a great way we can reward the kids who have been involved with Lemonade Days. Joining me now is Michelle and James here. Now, Michelle, you got him involved with Lemonade Days. Yes, uh, he went to Maxwell Elementary School for summer camp and they did the fundraiser and he's talked about it every day since. He wants to know how he can get more involved in helping the kids that are homeless in Lexington and Kentucky and I think it was a great exposure. Now, now James, when you said you wanted to do this, well, how, much, how much did you enjoy this? How much do you want to give for this? Well, um, I wanted to give the homeless kids in the Salvation Army really good luck. So I did the eliminated fundraiser just for the Salvation Army and the homeless kids, and I loved it oh. at Maxwell. Wonderful. Now you got one more ball to throw, don't you? All right, go to it, James. Go on over there. Michelle, thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right. It's what a great lesson to teach the kids. It's kids helping kids. By the way, we've also got uh, Mary Alice and Jack over there. So here goes James with his final ball. As James is getting ready to throw that final ball, there it goes. We're going to start talking about our weather here off the bumper. You know, when I do my bowling, I don't get the bumpers there. But uh, let's talk about our weather as it's going down. It's going to hit some pins. He got eight. You can see uh, Jack's ball headed down there as well. Let's talk about our weather here. Let's go to the radar. And with that, you've got the Max Track Live Doppler. And that is showing nothing right now. And we are talking about a terrific evening out there. It's also pretty doggone comfortable outside. You're talking about dew point numbers that are falling into the low 60s. That makes it feel a lot more comfortable for us. And that's what's coming in for tonight and tomorrow. It's still hot. That's what tomorrow's going to be like. It's going to be hot, but not overly humid. We're talking about temperatures now still running middle, upper 80s, flirting with 90. Right now at the Bluegrass Airport, again, we're talking the heat that's out there. Temperatures have been in the upper 80s most of the afternoon. The big weather story is going to be Barry. Barry has been a fairly disorganized storm so far, but it's getting its act together. Top wind speeds are at 65 miles per hour. You notice that most of the energy has been on the south side of the system, but with time, it's going to wrap into a full circle. That's when the storm will really intensify quickly. The one saving grace is it's not far from shore, being about 70 miles or so from Morgan City, Louisiana, and that looks like it'll be ground zero. The track of Barry is going to come in to Louisiana around Morgan City late tonight, early tomorrow. Then it's going to crawl through Mississippi, dumping a tremendous excuse me, through Louisiana, dumping a tremendous amount of rain through the Mississippi Valley. We're talking a foot of rain or more for some folks. That's going to create some big flooding problems. Let's look at our future. Oh, by the way, the track of that, it's going to eventually affect us, it looks like, by the middle of next week. Future track, well, you see the circles there that are, that's Barry. You see there's more of them as we go through time tonight as it comes ashore. Meanwhile, high pressure to our north is bringing us our dry air. That front is going to act as a little focusing mechanism to bring some of that rain up through the Tennessee Valley. We continue then through the future track, and the high pressure gives us good weather all the way through the weekend. Minimal thunderstorm chance on Sunday as the muggies really begin to take hold. But take a look at the extended version of our future track here. Watch the rain coming into Louisiana. Watch it just work its way right up the Mississippi River Valley. And then by the time we get you to Wednesday, yeah, that's the pro-am for the Barbasol. It's sitting pretty much on top of us. So hopefully that may scooch a little bit with time, but right now that's the going forecast. You're looking for something to do tonight? Aside from out here at Collins Bowl, go on out to Lakeside Live. That's over at Lexington Green. Music starts in about 40 minutes. Tonight it's a wonderful band. You're talking the Five Below Band. They have some great, great music. Tomorrow night it is one of the fun bands in Lexington, the Conk Republics out there. Hey, our forecast for tonight is a dandy. The sky is going to be clear. Temperatures would drop down to the mid-60s for mid-July. That's not bad. Your day tomorrow, let's go with a mostly sunny sky. Hot, not overly humid. We'll be around 90. Your eight day, we're talking temperatures low 90s. It gets muggy through the week. Best chance of thunderstorms comes in, unfortunately, on Wednesday. May last into the first part of the Barbasol as well. It's been a great finale for this year's Lemonade Days. We hope you're involved next year. From Collins, South and Bold, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Mack.